on the same piece of flat bar I drilled two 6mm holes as you see I'm gonna cut it off right here it's gonna be two pieces of metal here and as you see I cut through this hole here and I've marked you see these two lines here one and two this is where I'm gonna cut off so I'm gonna end up with an oval hole here I'm gonna end up with an oval hole that goes like this so I will cut this off here and then I will weld this back on, weld this piece back on and as you see I marked this here, I put a dot here and a dot here with the chisel so I know it goes this way and not this way So I cut this uh, groove here and I will weld these two pieces together and I will cut right here. So here's the oval hole. Didn't come out very pretty but it will definitely do the job. This is all I need. So here's a bolt and two nuts, one nut here and one nut here. And what we're going to do is weld this nut to this piece of metal. And we should be able to remove this bolt and this nut. So as you see, I welded the nut to the piece of metal. And this is free. See that? And this is free. So we'll take those off now. And this is one you end up with. So I'm, I'm ready to weld this piece here. It's going to get welded to this flat bar and this flat bar. And as you see, I put a really thin uh, piece of metal here. And that is to keep a slight distance between this, these two flat bars and uh, this, this pipe here, the square pipe. So it can, so this whole uh, setup can move back and forth freely. And here I welded this bottom plate and uh, used the same sheet of metal but I doubled it up just to leave a little bit more gap between this plate and the square pipe. So this thing, this whole thing moves moves up and down easily. So this is what we're looking for for this piece to be able to move back and forth easily. And also I can lock it down like this and it won't go anywhere. And once you assemble this part, this is what it looks like. Hey doggy! Bless you. In order to mount the jigsaw on the table, I've taken the jigsaw off, off of its mount here, off of its base, and I've cut two pieces here, as you see here, drilled holes, and one more here. Now I'm going to weld this part and this part. So now it's time to cut the plate and I will mark where I'm going to cut. So this is the outline of the piece that I'm going to cut. 